What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So it is, what is it? The 6th. It is Season 5 launch day, and we're going to be launching in probably have about four or five hours. So what I wanted to do was bring you a leveling guide for Season 5, so that way you can blast through, get to 100, do the pits, do all your endgame stuff, defeat the uber bosses, go try out the new Infernal Hordes endgame mode, and just do everything you need to do to have fun this season. So... To start off, we're going to do this video real short and sweet. I'm going to take you through. I have an entire guide here to kind of break things down, and I will link this down in the description below. I did have my old world tier one here, uh, but now it has been updated for season five. Okay, so when it comes to, to leveling up, there's a lot of different strategies that have happened over the seasons of Diablo 4, and... Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. It's pretty similar to last season, and especially with all of the changes that happened. So first, let me talk about the changes that are going to help you this season. So when it comes to your XP bar, the level of the monsters has changed, okay? So now you used to be capped at 10. So if I go over here to the Helltide real quick, just to show you, give you an example, your monster levels uh, to cap out your XP used to be at 10. 10 levels above your character level so if we pop a profane mind cage and then i come over here on my my lovely little my my lovely little kitty you'll see that the monsters are levels 113 okay so now in season five you're going to be able to pop three of the profane mind cages to make these monsters 33 levels higher than you so the new exp cap is monster levels need to be 30 levels higher than you to gain the most amount of xp so with that said, that's going to be happening here, you know, once you start to really level up. But that is the big EXP change, which I think is very, very important for you to understand. So that way, when you're going through and as soon as you get to like World Tier 3, World Tier 4, you're really going to be able to start grinding out some levels. So first things first, you're going to create a brand new character. Of course, you're going to be starting over in Kovishad or otherwise known as Kmart. This uh, you'll start here. The first thing that you will need to do is to come over here uh, to the wardrobe okay now you will be getting your pet okay if you did not buy the expansion that's okay you will get this little doggy okay you will have the doggy or uh this one right here you'll have the doggy you'll have this one this is free for everybody if you did get the uh the expansion for season six and pre-order it uh depending on which level you got you'll have this extra dog or you'll have the little kitties so uh make sure to come grab your pet because it's gonna uh, pick up all your gold all your extra loot all your resources on the ground all of these things okay so that is the very first thing come over here do this now um i'm pretty confident that the new seasonal quest line is going to start here in kovishad but if it isn't then um kind of like similar to last season where it starts over here in what is this gaya cool gay cool in kedjistan uh for the iron wolves uh i'm pretty confident it'll start there so when wherever that seasonal quest line is you just start it get that part done and then we can move on to the next part that way as you're leveling up you can continue the quest line later okay uh once you do that after you talk to that there's one thing that you have to do you could do this one of two ways we need to get an elixir from the alchemist here okay the elixir you're going to come over here to craft elixirs we have the very basic elixirs that you can craft down here they are five bundle of herbs okay they're five so well, War, how do we get Bundle of Herbs? There's a few ways. You can come down here to the outside of the Kmart, right here down to the south. It's very easy. There's one out here to the right, uh, if I remember correctly. There's always one out here somewhere. Uh, uh, come on, Diablo, you're looking at me bad. There it is. So you come down here, grab this, and that's seven Bundle of Herbs. I think it's probably like five on World Tier 1 or World Tier 2. Make sure when you do create your character that you do start on World Tier 2 just for the video. World Tier 1 is very easy, but if you think World Tier 2 is too hard, then do World Tier 1. Um, but start at World Tier 2. The EXP boost in World Tier 2 is much better. So after you get the either run out to the bundle of herbs, then you can craft an elixir. Come down here to the alchemist. We'll go to the basic uh, elixirs here, and then you'll just come down and you just take the very first one. Craft, and now we have it. Now, if you don't want to run out to the, you know, right outside the city there and you just want to stay in town, there is another one that you can do, which I think is really cool. And I just want to showcase it right now. So you can come over here next to the uh, world world tier statue. And then there's this uh, this uh, guard Boza. 
And this is a mini little quest line. So you're going to talk to the guard. He's going to tell you about some stuff. And then you're going to come right over here. And you're going to open up an emote. And use the emote wheel. So let's go ahead and use emotes. Greetings. Thanks. All right. Bye. Hello. Very easy, right? Very easy. Bring the crimson... I don't think I brought them. I'm bad. It says use the emote. Taunt. Oh, look at that. Okay. Cheer. All right. So after you use some emotes here, you just use a couple. You come back over to the guard. I encourage the recruits. You want to do like cheering, the cheering emote. Then you talk and then you will get gold. And they'll give you a little raising spirits, uh, like herb cash. And when you open up this herb cash, you get some bundles of herbs. So you can do that and you'll get a weapon. You won't get as many as I just did. You won't get the 25, I believe, on World Tier 1. But you will get enough to go craft another elixir. So you can do that that way. I would actually advise you to do both or at least do that quest line. It's right there in the beginning. Super easy. You just run over, talk, come back. Boom. Bob Drunkle. So next, what we're going to want to do is, is after getting our pet, after doing the seasonal quest and bundle of herbs, now it's time for the hell tides. Okay, so hell tides are are the best way to level in Diablo Four. Okay, when you first come over here, the monsters are already going to be three levels higher than you, and you're going to be getting a bunch of herbs. You're going to be getting a bunch of items from opening all the chests. You can um, do the Blood Maiden. So the, another big thing that's so good about this is that when you come over here to the to the hell tide there's going to be other players okay there's going to be other players and when you're in a group i definitely advise you to play in a group um just to make the leveling process easier um because you're going to get all the extra group xp now if you want to be a solo player and do that that is fine uh one great thing about the hell tide is that when you're running around you're going to come in contact with other players okay there is other players here that you can run into to do these to just farm and do the hell tide to gain levels and if you remember when you're in a group or when you're close to somebody you get extra exp for being close to those people even if they're not in your party so like for example they're doing the ritual so let's head over there and you could just see you'll see the little increase in my exp when i come in contact with another player um guys the hell tides is by far the best way to level in the game um there's not really another one that's better. Now, I know that the devs have talked about doing a, uh, like these leveling dungeons, um, or, you know, these other dungeons that you can do kind of like, uh, with the domain tunnels from the campfire stream, but that's just not as good anymore. So when you come over here, you're going to see, like, now we're in contact with this guy. And you'll see now we get gain bonus experience for being in a, near another player. And then it's a double if we're in the same party. So when you're coming over here and you are, you know, even if you're a solo player, if you don't have a group, then you're going to be just fine. You just run around, try to stick with some players uh, and just mob through the hell tide to gain a crap ton of XP. Now, if you guys are looking for another community, I'm sure there's a lot of other creators out there just like myself. Definitely join the Discord down in the in the description below. We got a huge community there with uh, a number of other communities. If you guys want to join up and play with some people for the Hell Tide, by all means, go do that. Next, after doing the Hell Tide, this is where things are going to be a little a little fun. You're going to be 35 to 40, and then you'll come in here and do the Capstone at uh, in World Tier Two to go to World Tier Three. After you do the Capstone and you unlock that, all right, you're going to switch over to World Tier Three. And then we're just going to rinse and repeat. We're going to go do the Hell Tides again. Okay. We're going to use the Hell Tides to farm up. Now, if you do feel like you are strong enough, then you could do um, Nightmare Dungeons for huge XP. Nightmare Dungeons at like 40 when you go into World Tier 3 are going to be a little tough. Uh, because it's 56 or 54 levels plus a level 1. So you're at 55 level monsters. But if you're 40, you're already, you know more than 10 over so that xp is huge now keep in mind guys is that when you hit level 15 unless you are what the necromancer because it's a little bit higher uh necromancer is 25 but once you hit 15 go do your class quest power go do that first that way 
you have your specialization done, knock that out. Even if you have to break through and stop, you know, farming the Helltide to do it real quick, I just advise to get that done as soon as possible. Um, but in World Tier 3, go do Helltides, do Nightmare Dungeons if you feel like you can. Um, if you're in a group and you guys feel like you're strong enough, split and you guys will gain a crap ton of XP. Uh, in World Tier 3, you're going to do this strategy between Nightmare Dungeons and Helltides until you hit right around 60. Once you get to that close, then you can go do the capstone for World Tier 4. And that capstone is right over here. I believe it's right here is the capstone uh, for World Tier 3 going to 4. Once you defeat that capstone and you get into World Tier 4, this is where you can start doing your endgame stuff. So you do Nightmare Dungeons. I highly recommend to do Nightmare Dungeons over the Helltide. Only because you're going to upgrade your glyphs, you need to get this to a minimum of 15, or and, and then get get them to 21, and then for leveling, Nightmare Dungeons are very good in World Tier Four. Or you can start go doing pits once you unlock that at World uh, uh, at uh, what is it? Um, or you could do pits after unlocking uh, with tier 46 nightmare dungeon so you could you could do this if you really want um this is a really good strategy to to doing this level those up then you can go master work your gear in the pits and then doing these strategies should take you all the way to 100 cheers super easy guys it's a very straightforward leveling guy there's nothing too complicated just like it has been in the past when we would just farm up uh, the domain tunnels or the dopamine tunnels as it's called um, or even back when we used to do the strongholds which I still thought was a very cool leveling strategy I thought it was great but yeah guys this is a leveling strategy for you um, I will I will have this down in the description below so if you guys want to reference it later but super easy very straightforward guys um, you can do this in solo group etc and it should take you roughly if you're just being efficient it should take you roughly six hours um, to get to 1 to 100, which is pretty good with the EXP buffs that we have this season. So, yeah, guys, make sure to like the video. Comment down below. Let me know if this has helped you or if you guys got any other tips for me when it comes to leveling. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.